Welcome back to another video on how I do my laundry. I mean, who knew that these videos would be so popular, but here we are. So I live in New York City. I don't have a washer and dryer. And so I have this portable washer that I've been using to wash my clothes. And so many people are just so confused as to how I dry my clothes. And I thought it's just pretty obvious that I hang them all over my apartment and I just let them air dry. But I recently, finally got a portable dryer. So here she is still in the box. I'm going to do the unboxing and then I'm gonna do a full load and we're gonna see how well she works. for this thing. Right, so here we are, just me and the dryer. And I know I made it look like this thing was super heavy, but I'm just weak. Um, this is not that heavy. It's not even heavier than my washing machine. So yeah, if I could pick it up, you could pick it up. Um, let's see. So it comes with this thing, which I'm assuming maybe for shoes, but you just kind of like put it in like this and that's it. And it comes with the cord and just the manual. So pretty simple. Um, I did read over the manual a little bit, just, uh, some pointers. So it does say to not fill up higher than this mark. It says max right here. So just about right here. Then we have this, which I thought is where the lint would go, but they're telling me that this is where the water actually drains out of. So when this thing is about to be full, the machine is gonna beep to let you know to empty it out. That's this. It slides right in there. So my laundry's done. I did have an outfit change and uh, clip my weave in, but here we go. So I threw my sweatsuit in and it is wet right now. It's not dripping because this does do a really good job spinning it. I am thinking I'm going to have to dry these one at a time because they are pretty thick material um, and this does have a limit. As you can see, this pretty much takes like already half of the dryer. It's on. <laughs> All right, so the dryer is on. As you can hear it, it's kind of loud. Um, and it's supposedly going to be like a 50 minute cycle, which is kind of long because I only have one pair of sweatpants in there, but. Let's see, maybe I'll turn it off sooner and see how dry they get. I just took my sweatpants out and they are totally dry. So super cool. It, I think they were in for about 20, 25 minutes. The machine does feel a bit warm. And I wanted to show you guys how to clean the lint thing, which is in here. It's really easy. You just put, literally just pull it out. It's really hot right now. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this while this is so hot, but pull this out and then all the lint is on there. So you just obviously clean that. And then it's a mag, it's a magnet. So it just like snaps back in. <laughs> snaps back in. I do have my handy dandy sewing tape, so I'm going to measure it for you guys so you can see if this will fit in your home somewhere on your countertop or something. The length, I'd say it's about 18 inches. And then for the width, it's about 15 inches. Let's measure the inside. It's about nine and a half by 13. I think it did a great job drying my clothes. It was pretty quick, um, 20 minutes, and this is like a really heavy sweatpants so it dried the whole thing um and it was nice and warm and toasty so yeah if you need a dryer get yourself one of these 
Yeah, the brand is called Morris. She was good to me. All right, so I got black paint on my shoes conveniently, like totally by accident. I guess this gives me a good reason to try out the dryer. So I washed my shoes and I'm throwing them in here right now. So let's see how dry they get in about 30 minutes to an hour. Moment of truth, I am going to check my shoes. Feels hot. They are super hot actually. Dry. I mean, these shoes, hold on, better lighting here. These shoes do have like a thin mesh, so probably easier to dry, but the whole shoe is really hot. So it's definitely working really well to dry these shoes. 